Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we got a lot of good stuff to talk about today. Um, happy holidays, I guess. It just became, it's just right after Halloween. Already put up the Christmas decorations. This is my living room area, just so everybody knows. But uh, today, wanted to talk about three ways to get an entry-level cybersecurity role. And if you haven't checked out this channel before, you know, we do different things on the tech industry. Uh, I've done recruiting, hiring management for about 10 years in cybersecurity and all types of tech, as well as tech sales. So I've gotten this questions a lot, and I usually include my contacts below. So if you want to reach out to me, totally okay. I am getting a lot these days, so just a heads up. But a common one is for a lot of entry-level cybersecurity engineers or people wanting to break into the industry, what do they do? How do they get there? What are some methods on how to break in? There's a lot of different methods, but we're gonna focus on three main ones today. So kind of the breakdown, why is it tough to break in first off? What is the three different ways and how do you actually stand out? So this is very, very crucial and you have to be able to stand out the entire time. So first off, why is it tough to get into the entry level, you know, get an entry level role? Well. It's really competitive. This is one of the most growing areas right now in all of tech. Everybody's trying to get into it. Um, the majority of people are kind of going into data analysis or computer science, and there's definitely select people going to cybersecurity. And that's where it's going to have the most potential down the road, as well as right now, where it's the most in demand. There's way more jobs than there are people. It's only going to be growing, and a lot of people are able to do so. And there's a lot of ways you can do it. Uh, so it's very, very tough. If I put out a job ad for, and just just so you have an idea, because a lot of people have been asking me this thing, and they're like, why didn't I get selected? Why didn't, wasn't there any follow-up? There's about 20 main companies that are hiring continuously. And then there's a lot of smaller companies. But those main companies, uh, you know, there's there's they're only hiring like a person per month, and every job ad they put out is getting a 500 to a thousand resumes per job ad so be aware of that and put yourself in the employer's shoes when you're looking for a new role so let's talk about the three ways that you can get an entry-level role the first way is the traditional way through a job ad right so the job ad you can go through job ads you can go to career fairs you can go through an internship program there's a lot of ways and usually you're only going to get those if you have a bachelor's or a master's kind of and uh, especially if you're going through a master's program i mean employers are going to be setting up at the career fair right then and there ready to take you under their wing or an internship um if you have a boot camp if you have a book if you're going through a boot camp or certification program if you see my other videos it's a little harder it's not impossible just a little harder to do so when i was working with several of my clients they only sometimes want to see a bachelor's if you have a boot camp they want to see years of experience so I definitely recommend a boot camp if it's a reputable boot camp that has job placement at the end of it. Okay. Um, if you want some info, definitely check out the description. There's ones that I recommend that will give you actually a lot of money off on your certification as well as kind of like the boot camp that they have. But I've only I would only recommend doing it if they have proven to have job placement at the end of it. So you can check out the ones below, or if you do your own research, just make sure, just ask yourself or look at their testimonials, look at LinkedIn, see what people did after the boot camp if they went on to get jobs. And that'll be your kind of main indicator. So first one's the traditional way. What's the second way? The second way is actually what's called the parachute way, which is through LinkedIn. It's kind of networking. You, What you want to do is if you're going through a boot camp or if you're going through your bachelor's program, start networking right away. Start reaching out through LinkedIn to other cybersecurity professionals Ideally, you're doing it with bigger companies, companies that have over 100 people, right? The cybersecurity department's probably over five people at least, ideally over 10. But you start networking with these people, you write them a message, you write them a comment, you ask them, hey, I'd love to do an informational interview or I'd love to just take 10 minutes, I'm a student learning cybersecurity, I wanna break into the industry, can I spend, can I take 10 minutes of your time? And that's it. And you're just really planting seeds in the cybersecurity industry networking, okay? And as you're going through your bachelor's, you, I would recommend doing this like every day. Like every day you're sending like three messages through LinkedIn to other cybersecurity professionals in the industry or companies that you're already looking out for. And you 
you send that message three times a day um, for like a year. I mean, that's like a thousand people right there in your network. When you're going through your boot camp, which usually you know lasts a few months, or your bachelor's, which minimum a year. Sometimes there's two years, sometimes there's four year degrees, but there's minimum a year. You want to be doing this, and then about maybe like two months before you graduate, you start reaching out to your network, and you let them know, hey, I'm in the market. I'd like to do an informational interview, or you know, if there's anything going on in your area. Eighty percent of the job market is not on the job ads, okay? So the traditional way, you're going through the job ads, you're going through the usual way or the, the thing that like, you know, 99% of people go through. You wanna be the person that stands out and you wanna do it through a reference. Somebody gives you a recommendation. And if you've already have a pre-established network, right? You have like a list of a thousand cybersecurity engineers that you've made friends with, you've done, you know, if you did three people a day and spent 10 minutes on the phone with them, just asking their questions, getting to know them, making friendships. Guess what? That took you 30 minutes a day. And by the end of a year, you have a thousand people that can give you recommendations, references, and insider information on what, who's hiring and when. And if you plan it right and you do it with the right, correct timing, oh, you're easily gonna be set up with the job, okay? So that's, that's kind of the other easy one. So that's called the parachute way. I don't know why it's called that. That's what it was told to me <laughs> when I learned this stuff. Um, but it's the parachute method. So make sure you're establishing and planting seeds in your network and it shouldn't be like a vibe of, I'm trying to get something, okay? You're there to give and you're there to learn information. You're not trying to get a job early on. Um, make friends with them, consistently follow up, and then also, you know, make sure that you, you, you're adding value, you're, you're appreciative. You know, if you get a job and that person gives you a recommendation, send them a bottle of wine. Send them some kind of gift, especially right now. It's Christmas. So anyway, there's that method. Uh, so we're talking about traditional way, parachute way, alternative way. What's the alternative way? Alternative way is jumping into a company in a different department, setting yourself up for success to be in the cybersecurity department. You get in there through another method, okay? The one that I usually recommend is tech sales. Why tech sales? because you will learn a lot of skill sets that are very essential for higher levels of cybersecurity, project management, being a director. You need to have soft skills on public speaking, leadership, how to look at the numbers, uh, especially sales, sales skills, communication, persuasion, all these things, very, very important. So, and you can also make a lot of money. You can make a, a boat, but you know, boat ton, <laughs> boat ton of money, <laughs> a lot of money basically. But if you do tech sales, um, it's a great way that you learn the industry from the inside out. You develop those skill sets. You can still make money at the same time. And then after a year or two, while you're doing, this is the only example where I say using a boot camp is probably better because uh, you're going to be spending a lot of time with sales. Using the boot camp, you then establish trust with the company. They know you're serious. You can move into cybersecurity, right? As long as you join a company um, that's pretty transparent and that wants to develop leaders, you can get in there make them money, they're gonna love you, and then transfer to cybersecurity. And even they might even pay for your training half the time. Not all the time, but half the time. So that's another method. And you don't have to do tech sales. You can do pretty much anything, um, even if you're the IT person in the background. Or uh, you know, I've seen a guy who was a CPA, a certified public accountant, joined the company in our cybersecurity firm, uh, worked hard for three years, really wanted to do it, company because they trusted him and they believed that he could do the job down the road they paid for his schooling everything to become a cybersecurity and he worked his way from the inside out of the company so that's the alternative method is you start somewhere else in the organization and you prove yourself first and they believe that you're such a good investment they want to transfer you to cybersecurity and, and that's another road you can go so that's three ways traditional way parachute way the alternative way just to uh, recap, traditional way, it's going through career fairs, job, you know, job boards, usual way. It's not impossible. It's just very, very, very difficult in the current thing, you know, current situation of all things. Parachute way, start planting seeds, getting that network built up, um, learning all those things. Sorry. And then alternative way is go into a different department. Usually I would recommend tech sales. Uh, and then proving yourself there, you can still make good money, you know, setting up the systems, learn good crucial skills, and then transferring to cybersecurity 
uh, and become an asset that way. That's a really good blend of both. So those are some ways that I would recommend. How do you stand out? How do you stand out? Well, you want to make sure you have a strong resume. First off, you want to make sure you have a good network. Okay. Ideally, someone introduces you. And this is when we talked about that parachute method. You let them know that, hey, you're currently in the market. Do they have any recommendations? If they say yes, it's like, oh, great. Can you introduce me? So now you're not going through the job board. They're going completely around the system and they're giving an introduction email with your resume. And then you simply follow up. You will stand out. Referrals get hired. I don't even know the, the metric, but basically anybody in our company who gets a referral or any other client companies automatically gets their foot in the door. So definitely consider that. You want to make sure you have also great interview skills. Okay. Great, great interview skills. Um, knowing how to answer questions, knowing how to build rapport with people. How do you talk when you think on your feet, when they ask certain questions or your job history, or how do you do salary negotiation? That's the biggest one. So consider these things. Um, I do do one-on-one -on -one career coaching. Uh, it depends on, you know, it, it really depends on my schedule and time, but if you'd like to check it out, you know, I will include that in the description. Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, something that we're going to start offering right now, and I built this up over time and I've looked at thousands of resumes is, uh, on our last call with a few different individuals, they were asking for resume templates. So if you want good templates that I've seen that I've actually hired these people from, you know, I will include that for free. I'm going to block out the names and certain obviously sensitive data, but you can use that as a template because those are the ones that got people like noticed and they'll get you, it's just going to increase your probability. So consider that. Uh, there is like an ultimate one that I <laughs> kind of handled, but uh, if you want some different resume templates for either if you're a software engineer, cybersecurity engineer, or even in the sales area, feel free to look in the description. I'll include a link so you can download those for free. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Definitely check out some of the other videos. I, I'm trying to get, uh, you know, answer all the different questions. I appreciate there's been people that have been reaching out, you know, really a, a lot of gratitude for the people reaching out, asking great questions, um, saying that they like the, the videos. I'm, I'm glad they're helping. And I really hope that it's bringing a lot of value to you guys and it really helps your career. And obviously I'm into, health and fitness and personal development, a whole host of other areas. Uh, so feel free to message me if you have any questions on that one, because I love chatting about it. So talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Okay. Cheers.